Hey guys, it's Matt. I am uh, Digital Tech in Phoenix here. And uh, Digital Tech is kind of like a Swiss army knife of uh, production. Um, we are there to kind of maintain um, all the technical aspects of the job from uh, camera control, the camera settings. Um, we check file integrity. We check the lighting to make sure um, it's consistent with the photographer's creative as well as the agency's creative. Um, we're kind of also the liaison between um, the client, the agency, and the photographer. And uh, we just kind of make sure that the workflow um, is running as efficient as possible. All right, yeah, so this is what's in my bag. Um, so we'll start here with the cart setup. This is typically what I would use uh, in studio. Um, you have a 15 inch, uh, MacBook Pro, I almost forgot what that was called. Uh, one of the later models. And then we've got a 24 inch ISO, which is pretty much industry standard because of its color consistency. Um, a lot of the times I'll have two or three of these floating around set for different viewing stations. Um, the tether cable is pretty essential for connecting camera to laptop. Um, Got my calibration tool, which I normally do prior to every shoot. Um, light meter on set. If, you know, first assistant usually brings their own, but if for any reason we need an extra meter, got that there. Um, got a pretty cool tether block to make it pretty convenient for the photographer and to keep that cable organized. Um, down here, I've got Cases with different types of cables in here. This is a cable management bag that I have through Timba. Um, so it's got all, basically all different types of cables that I'll need on my job. Um, I keep a lot of dongles in here as well. Um, I've got other cases, display cable cases, HDMI cables, network cables. And then I usually just kind of keep all of those things um, in this larger case here. Um, it's usually a lot more organized um, when I'm working on set. Um, but yeah, that's probably the bare bones breakdown when it comes to the cart. Cool, so moving right along to the location kit that I have. Um, this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro um, and it sits on the innovative digi plate, uh, which I have the undersize of the plate customize out to the things that I essentially need. Um, card reader, I've got a USB hub back there. Um, I've got a nine volt megawatt um, V-mount battery attachment that I can basically charge my laptop with. Um, so I have four of these hypercore Neo 150 batteries um, that pretty much give me, you know, eight to 10 hours of battery life um, out on location. Um, got a carabiner clamp that basically organizes all my tether cables. Um, got this super cool mouse pad that just makes life easier. Um, and then it all sits on the Gitzo. Uh, I believe this is the Mountaineer Series 2 tripod. Um, got a cool catch-all bag that I put on my miscellaneous quick things I need to access down there. Um, and then we also have a 12-inch uh, iPad Pro um, that I use for client monitor. So oftentimes, depending on what the situation is, it'll live on the stand um, or you, we can take it off the stand. It has handles. I can give this to the art director. I can give this to the photographer if they need to view images. Um, and I basically mirror through Apple's sidecar um, or any transmitter you could use, um, wireless transmitter you can use a mirror through the iPad Pro. Um, I also have a, a set of Hollyland transmitters that works as well. Um, I've got this mounted to small rig. Um, it's one of their iPad Pro mounts. Um, they've got a really cool cage version of this, but my iPad isn't new enough to fit in that cage. So this is what I have as an alternative. 
All right, so moving on to the Pelican cases that I have with me on every production. This one um, basically has all my grip stuff in, got gaff tape, clamps, um, more clamps, uh, miscellaneous mounting hardware, um, some screwdrivers, some Allen wrenches, um, flashlights and headlamps, um, got more digiplate accessories in here. Um, this one is kind of where I keep all of my power stuff. Um, got more of those hypercore batteries that we spoke about earlier. Um, I've got uh, a couple of Hyperjuice power banks that I, I normally use these to power the laptop, or I'm sorry, to power the um, iPad, but it also works as a cheaper solution to power your laptop. V-mount batteries can get really expensive, um, but these work just as well and they recharge a lot quicker than the V-mount battery does. So cheaper solution here. Um, but yeah, that's what's in my bag. So what's a must have in my industry would be the computer. Um, right now I'm running a 16 inch MacBook Pro. This has a 2.4 eight core Intel i9 processor. Um, it's got 32 gigs of memory and we are running the AMD uh, 5600 graphics card. Um, as a Digitech, having a computer that can support the demands of a production is vital. Um, we are oftentimes multitasking um, different workflows, different systems. We're handling large amounts of files and we need to have a computer that can kind of keep up with that demand. And for me, this laptop would be the most important thing um, to my profession. So my favorite piece of gear would be the Innovative DigiPlate. Um, the main reason being is you can customize the hell out of this thing to meet however your workflow is. Um, for me, I've got, you know, this mouse pad here. Um, I've got these super beefy laptop clamps that kind of keep my laptop in place. If you flip it over to the bottom, it's slightly customized. Card reader. Um, I've got a place where I can store my hard drives. I've got a hub mounted to the bottom of this. Um, the power block megawatt by nine volt with my V-mount battery. Again, carabiner with uh, tether cables on. Um, but there's so many different people that customize this in so many different ways. And you can honestly just kind of tailor this thing to your workflow. The possibilities are pretty much endless with this. Um, so yeah, that's why I love it. And this is what's in my bag.